Hi, I'm John Squire, CEO and co-founder of Dynamic Action. As a bit of background, I've been in retail analytics for 20 years, building analytical systems since I started my career in industrial engineering. The vision my co-founder and I had for Dynamic Action is really to enable retailers and brands to deploy a management system that helps them orchestrate both the people that they have in the business and the AI engines they're trying to deploy to make more revenue and more profit every day. So the retail winners that we operate with um, have really been thinking about how do I base my business more on just gut than experience and tribal knowledge? And how am I gonna meet the growing demands of consumers and also meet the profit puzzle that Wall Street demands of us? Now, Dynamic Action is a retail analytics application that's really built to find profit and accelerate a retailer's ability to drive their operations just faster. Dynamic Action delivers a connected view of the product inventory and customer data to really generate decision on all the four P's across all the channels, whether that's the mobile channel, marketplace, store, digital. And with the speed to decision is really one of the tenets of our vision. This is where we deliver prescriptive application with profit at the center to generate the next best actions for our business. And I'll take you through that as we walk through the uh, rest of the presentation. So dynamic action, the suite is driven by a broad set of data collectors that are constantly drawing data from 150 different retail systems. And they populate a retail specific model that's deeply meshed and connected with customer data, product data, inventory data, and profit data that spans all of the channels that I mentioned before. And that feeds the analytical solutions that are driving actions at the product level, at the customer level, and then across business operations. And then ultimately this is built to automate actions across the growing universe of third-party AI engines. We use 1500 algorithms and decision conditions to really look at that omni-channel data to deliver actions that generate real ROI right away. Now for our clients, they're really drawn to dynamic view. And this is where they have a highly visual way and an intuitive way of understanding how analytics and actions can be put directly in the work stream of visual merchants, marketers, executives every single day. Dynamic action and, and in fact, all of dynamic uh, view is built with the concept, no data science required. And that's so that you can take this information and continuously use the predictions to understand what might happen next, prioritize the actions that you can take, and then improve the profit and revenue against the goals of the business. Dynamic view is evaluating every single product, every single SKU, promo, price, online and offline, to understand what the impact is of changing, say, boosting and bearing products, changing the price of the products, changing the promotional offers, and then increasing or decreasing um, different types of activities that are driving towards capturing incremental demand. So right here, why don't we stop and we'll get to a demo of Dynamic View, and then I'll come back and go through a couple of other pieces around this actual product. Welcome to Dynamic View. Dynamic View is a Chrome-based application that overlays all of a retailer's key metrics on their site. So in looking at a product, you can understand its demand, profit, conversion, marketing, shipping, pricing, promotion, a wide range of metrics. Uh, this allows a merchant to understand how well the sort orders are operating, marketers to find products that they may want to put into campaigns, executives to understand how new collections are performing. So in this use case, if I'm a merchant, I'm probably pretty excited about my overall sorts. I have uh, the top two slots, high uh, product conversion on a peer grouping, great uh, place to order value, but I have a couple of pieces of real estate that I'd probably like to optimize a little bit more. And I have some candidates down below that look like they'd be performing quite well if I was able to move them up. I may wanna go in and really start to look at this from a, a period over period piece, and I might see some changes there, and certainly in terms of some things around selling price. But you know what? Revenue isn't always the top thing. Sometimes it's profitability. So I might want to change uh, how I'm looking at the overall site and start to look at my efficiency, product profit per view. And I recognize some of these top products aren't performing as well as I would like them to in the top slots. And I have some others, once again, that look like they might be really good performers for me. So I'm going to dig into this new balance shoe. Um, just take a look at it really quickly. Recognize that maybe some of my recommendations aren't performing nearly as well as as, they, as I'd like a few that are. And so that I might wanna go and check and see how my personalization engine is doing on uh, profitability and inventory awareness. As I roll through the overall products as a merchant, I know that I lowered the price on this product by about $5 last week. And when I go in to see how Dynamic Action 
calculated the impact, I realized that by lowering the price and getting more exposure to this product, I'm losing out on profit that I could have generated from some other products in the business. Um, once again, uh, as I think about just peering the products against others, I'm gonna go take a look at this uh, DC shoe that I had identified earlier, just to understand, you know, maybe are there some more opportunities here because it has a really high efficiency. And when I look at the overall calculations that Dynamic View is doing for this particular product, I can see that just by raising a few more views to this product, I can generate a lot more profit within the business. All right, so that should give you a view of Dynamic View. And now I wanna uh, talk a little bit about how our forward leaning uh, customers are really growing the investment and in what they're doing from an AI standpoint. So taking us from a manual to an automated operation, Dynamic Action is central at fueling the management of five, 10, 20 different AI engines that retailers use today to address the opportunities in merchandising, in pricing, in replenishment, and in marketing. And so how that manifests itself is through our application Dynamic Recipes. And this really helps the data science team or the business operations team add in inventory, profit, customer lifetime value, and other business attributes across all the engines they work with simultaneously, and then measure the results of those engines outputs, and then prescribe the next set of tuning actions. Dynamic Recipes already comes pre-configured for the leading personalization and customer experience um, engines that you see, and also many of the messaging systems that retailers are using. So retail brands that use Dynamic Action achieve a wide range of success. It's from 20% increase in the sell-through of apparel lines by just managing the exposure of those products better to exploiting the opportunities to raise price on products where there is a outsized demand to supply, or our clients are using the prescriptive recommendations to reduce markdowns or increase the speed of their chase POs or just convert the time they spend making reports into taking action that creates more profit per person. The results can be super quick, 24% increase in profit in two months or 45% higher gross margin, or they can have a longer time horizon as retailers think about how can I convert more first to second time customers and nudge them into that second purchase just a lot quicker. So just in conclusion, as I finish up, Dynamic Action is really focused in on how do we arm the next gen retailers with something outside of just gut experience and individual knowledge. How do they get scale at generating insights and predicting the impact of actions? Our company has 120 years of applied retail brand data modeling and decision science. We combine that with 60 billion in GMV transactions that train and test the models and dynamic action enables retailers and brands to just achieve 20 times more ROI in as little as four weeks. So thank you for uh, having me today. 